Hello there. Welcome. This is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I'm here to bring you a preview slash pre-sale video for my live sale, which will be tomorrow, Thursday, March 16th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh no, is that my dog? <laughs> it is. I've been waiting all morning for 15 deliveries or no, not 15. I think it's 11 deliveries are supposed to come. I'm waiting on 30 deliveries. I don't know what's going on. Nothing's getting here um, in a timely manner. I'm not sure, maybe it has something to do with the weather across the United States, but who knows? I don't know. So um, hopefully more will be coming in. <laughs> maybe that's what she's barking about. But anyway, welcome. Um, let's see, if you are new here, hi, welcome, this is Kirsten. I'm a little chaotic, a little uh, ADD and a little hyper. Um, but that's okay. I love jewelry. I love showing it. I love talking about it and I love selling it. Um, if you've not yet registered, all I need you to do is drop me an email. Um, I'll have that information down below um, in the title of this lovely video. Um, and I need your YouTube name, your real name, your email associated with your PayPal account. I only take PayPal, PayPal excuse me, at this time um, and the country, city, and zip in which you reside. So I know how to bill for shipping pretty simple and what else that's it um like i said this is a preview some things are for pre-sale um you can just always you know inquire just drop me an email um and i will say yeah i can sell it or no it's actually for auction um and how i'm doing it is first come first pay so if i have five people interested in the same thing whoever pays first is the one who gets it i know but there's no other way around it kind of sucks but I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, I don't know where to start. I'll start with this beauty. I've gotten a couple inquiries about it uh, on my short. I have this fantastic costume jewelry, opalescent glass bracelet. It's just fantastic. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Okay, got this beauty there. Got the beauty. Of course, I didn't bring my stuff. Let me grab. Oh no! See, it's never a video if I'm prepared, right? <laughs> so sorry. I know I need all my measuring things and you know mandrels and all that stuff. Okay. So, what else am I going to show? I have a few beautiful rings. Um, I do have a, another Dragon's Breath ring for sale. This is a size six. And this one is available for pre-sale. It's really pretty. It's not a huge one. Uh, it's very feminine. Let me show you what it looks like on. I mean, it's not tiny, but it's just not, you know, it's not like a pew. Beautiful. So that is available. What else should we show? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, these. How can I not show these? Oh, look at this. This is Art Nouveau. I don't know if this is, let me see, okay. Sold to me as Art Nouveau. I don't know if it's in the style of it. It is a much older piece, but I can't vouch that this is actual Art Nouveau, okay? Um, gorgeous. Now this is banded agate, which is chalcedony is a banded agate, ag it basically, except you don't see the bands in it. Um, well, chalcedony is an agate. Agate. Gosh, I can't talk today. What is my problem? Anyway, this is in sterling silver. It is fantastic. It is large, uh, big presence, and it is a size eight and a quarter. It is just really, really beautiful. If it fit me, this would be one of those ones that I'd have to keep for a little while, you know? Because look, look, I mean, look at that. Gorgeous. And I'm selling these separate. These are earrings. And the reason why I think these are actually very old is because I've only had one other pair of earrings that had a little safety latch on the back of these. And those were almost 100 years old. So, don't know. Anyway, these are, these are fantastic. Look at that. These are big. These are, look at that, two inches. So gorgeous. Just absolutely stunning. I was really thrilled to be able to 
find those. So, stay. Okay. What else do I want to look at? Um, oh, look at this beauty. Shell cameo. Uh, and one of these are 800 silver, and the other one is sterling. I can't remember if it's vice versa, but so it's on this fantastic. I have it oh, all fastened up. This is very long. So this is actually very, very long, and it has a clip here. So you can actually switch this out and put on different antique, vintage, whatever kind of pendant you would like. Um, this is how I bought it with the Cameo. I absolutely love that. I think it's a fantastic idea. And it's very old, so I don't know. I'm assuming this is what it was originally for, or maybe some sort of a watch thing, or I don't know. But she's very pretty. Look at her. Beautiful, so she is available also. So I'm doing like costume and silver. I know it looks kind of funny. I didn't know how else to like break it up for looks sake or whatever. Anyway, this is a check glass and brass. Look at this, oh my gosh, this is, this is fantastic. I mean, if you like this kind of thing and hopefully somebody will because I do. <laughs> It is gorgeous. This is going to be an auction piece. Really pretty. And um, I also have a dress clip and a stick pin. Trying to round out that look a little. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. We have sterling silver and citrine. Beautiful ring. This is a size, I think, six and a half. Let me see. Could be wrong. And no, it's a, no, it's a, it's a six, six and a quarter, I'd say. Look, at, oh, that's so pretty. Why am I selling that one? What is happening here? I'm just not paying attention. Well, oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Okay. That's really pretty. <laughs> I knew it was really pretty. I guess I just didn't actually put it on my hand. Now, this is a newer piece that's not, you know, old. Unlike this one, which is very old. This is sterling silver. And this is glass. Um, this is really this is an antique. Um, she does have a little bit of scuffing on her. I have buffed out a bunch of it. Look at that setting. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Gorgeous. I also have uh, a brooch, and this one is a uh, check glass as well. Where else do we want to? This is sterling, vintage sterling and red glass. This is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, where is this one from? Oh my gosh. I'm not sure. This one just says sterling on it. I wasn't sure if this was Mexico. This does not state where it was made. Really, really nice. Look at the height of it. Old thumb clasp. This is a smaller size, right? So I'm thinking, uh, well, actually, actually, <laughs> she is seven and a quarter. Um, and if you are larger than that, I have sterling silver uh, little jump rings that I can add. So while the supplies last on that, I have them. So that's fantastic. Okay, so, okay, so I'm going to show this. This is yeah, I love this. Okay, this is glass and iris glass, so it's clear, clear glass. There's a little bit of discoloration at the top, and it's where they, I guess, tied it off. So they tied it off, and they usually use some sort of adhesive or something. So the very back piece, which is the one that goes in the very back, uh, is a little discolored. Not the glass. I think it's the actual string inside of it. Really fantastic, weird cubes. They're not cubes. They're whatever they are, faceted cubes, and then you go down to the iris glass. Look at that. And this one's a big chunky one right there. This is over the head. I love this one. Let me give you the length of this. It's over the head, and oh, this one's so pretty, pretty. Um, and this one is 15 inch drop, so 30 inch total. Sure got this beauty. And then I've got this one, and now, 
This, I was told, is iris glass, but I don't know. I don't know enough. I have taken, a, I've taken one class on glass, but, you know, it's, it was like the basic, like, intro, you know, and so I do not know. I learned a little bit, but not a lot, so I need to obviously educate myself. So this is another necklace. I do not know what this is. If this is iris glass, I was told it is, but I'm not sure. It looks like it. So anyway, it's a necklace. And even the extender has the little glass beads, which I, I think is great. Um, it's so pretty. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the one who likes Irish glass. I don't know. What else do I want to show? Okay. So I, I, can't, I can't believe that this is still here. Um, yeah, I'm kind of shocked, actually. So this is a uh, deco. Um, silver sterling and it has uh, examples of all different types of glass including dragon's breath so we have moonstone glass dragon's breath star of sapphire glass or I don't know what people are calling this that's what I call it I don't know if that's the correct name and Mexican fire opal glass beautiful Take that baby. how about Hmm, what size is this one? I don't know if this is a bigger one, let's see. This is a size seven and a half, is that a half? Seven and a half. This is a sterling and rainbow moonstone. Very pretty, very boho. I'm trying to get the, the flash, there you go. You can see some of the blues and purples in there. Oh yeah, this one, this one, <laughs> this one's gorgeous. This is a uh, size eight, and um, this is not a saddle ring, it's like a pretend, you know, it doesn't saddle up, but it's in a style similar, I guess, I don't know. This is Labradorite, look how beautiful that Labradorite is. All the blues, and oh, you can even see like some reds in there, and purples, and greens, really pretty. Really nice design there. And this is a size, I say size eight. Size eight, gorgeous. Oh, sorry. What else? Um, oh, I have all these beauties. You know, I don't want to show everything because then it's just not so fun, you know? Um, okay, this is going to be an auction piece unless somebody really wants me to quote a price. This has been tested five times. This is sterling silver. It is not marked. There's no mark in it at all. Um, and I've had ones that were like this that were similar ones that were plated. So I didn't know, you know what I mean? So, um, but when I got this, it was super tarnished. And I'm like, this is, I don't know. It, it felt heavy. It just, you could feel it. It felt different than some of the other ones, like the Whiting and Davis and that kind of thing. Anyway, so I tested it. Um, and sure enough, silver, sterling. And then I even opened up a new bottle of 18 karat gold acid because that's how I test sterling on the little stone um silver then I went back to the sterling silver acid and that was silver so it's been tested a gazillion times um I even did like the scratch inside here and put the acid directly on it no reaction so I feel confident <laughs> this is big now the only thing that's not is the safety chain wait is this silver I put this was missing a chain and I don't like the way these look without a chain so I added a safety chain. No, I don't even remember. I'm not sure. I don't think, well, I'm not sure if I put sterling on it or not. I don't know. So anyway, this is fantastic. Look at this. And I only did a light polish just so you would get the highlights of the beauty of it. You know, it opens like that. And here's the inside. Um, this is, I'll put it on, it's, it is a, uh, it's just fantastic, I mean, look at that. Oh gosh, sorry, sorry. Ignore that one. So, it's a little big on me, well, it depends how you like to wear your bracelets. I like my bracelets to fit kind of tight, which is weird, but it's just the way I roll. Um, if I wasn't weird, I'd say this fit me, but, um, I, this is not for a large wrist. I'd say this is probably just for an average size, if that makes sense to anybody. Um, I'll measure it, obviously, but... Anyway, um, it is heavy though. So this is available. 
um, either for pre-sale or auction. It just really depends. If you are interested, just let me know. I'm going to be trying to sell it for a very reasonable price because it's me, you know. If you know me, you know me, and it's just kind of what I do. Um, <laughs> what else? I don't even know. Oh, I got this really. This is antique. Well, I'm going to say vintage just to cover my ass, okay? This is a, a Chinese export, import, whatever, export, whatever. So this is gold for May. This is adjustable. It's a little wonky, as you can tell. I can put it on the mandrel and try to straighten it out. But before I do that, it would be better to set it in the size, whoever might buy it. Um, and look at the carving on it. We've got like a little, I think she's a dancer. I'm not sure, but she looks like there's movement because of the flowing of the fabric. And then you've got the really beautiful silver work with the butterfly. Look at that. So dimensional. It's really, really cool. Now I've sold one similar to this with like just like a little stone in it and then a little bit of enameling or just the stone, but I've never had one with a, a carving. Oh, there you go, you can see it. Look at the little flower, cherry blossom in her hair. Anyway, so, got that beauty. Got that beauty. And, oh, okay, so these I am gonna be selling as well. Now these are older, now they're, they're both mine. One was mine from many years ago, and one I bought um, from another YouTuber. Um, so this one was mine from many, many years ago. These are sweetheart bracelets. This one is a bit stretched out, you see there, but I've never had a problem. I've worn it like this literally for 10 years, I don't know. Um, and I never had an issue, it's never, you know, I don't know, it just is what it is. I just never fell apart, it just stayed the way it is, I don't know. So I'm gonna sell it this way, I've worn it. And there was times where I wore this every single day, like in the shower, like, you know, just wore it. Like it was just a bracelet that didn't come off me for a long time. Um, so. Anyway, it's really pretty. It has like the pinkish purple stones. This is gold filled. Oh, there's Puppet Nutter. And then this one I think I tried so, I'm not sure. And this one I bought from Gina Gay. And this is also a sweetheart bracelet with a cameo. Now this one doesn't have a lot of, it has elastic, or not elastic, it stretches, but it stays loose, or the weave or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I've worn this too and you know, so I'm selling them. Um, this one is, uh, they're going to be, these are buy it now, so I'm pretty sure. Um, I will give a great deal if someone wants them both, or just hit me up, let me know. Like I said, I've never had problems with either of them. I love them both, but guess what? I have like eight more. Um, <laughs> so that's a thing. Oh, I think a delivery just come. Ooh, maybe, maybe I got some more goods, more goods coming in. I don't know. What else? Hmm. Oh, I have fantastic costume over here. I'll just show this one. This is a this is a signed piece. I've sold one very similar in the past, but it was different. <sighs> Look at that. This is just a beast. I love it. This was part of my collection that I had. Um, I am not wearing my. I'm slowly going to be getting some of my signed cut uh, signed costume necklaces. I think just because I don't wear them and um I don't display them. Some are hung up in my closet, but I don't really display most of them. Like this one was in a satin sack in a drawer, you know, and it's just amazing. This is huge. This is a really amazing piece. So maybe one of you all would like that. Um, and then, you know, trying to stick with the theme, you know, I have this amazing costume jewelry bracelet. So I'm going to try to bring it, you know, got all sorts of fun things, some signed pieces, some not. Um, I do have sterling over here. So this was awesome. Mine I've had for... How old am I? Been? I've had this for 30 years. Um, antique, sterling, glass, beautiful. Mm, I don't know if I've even ever worn it. I don't know. I'm not even sure. I can't remember the last time. So if that is any indicator. Okay, and I'll show. This will be the last piece I'll show. Now, this is obviously more geared towards like, you know, vintage and antique looks. Um, I'm a mom. Some of it's not, some of it's newer. Like I do have some, you know, beautiful newer sterling rings, but they have a more of a vintage look to them. So, you know, I try to do different things kind of every week. So one week will be like more Taxco, you know, thick, chunky sterling. So, you know, every week's a little different. So you just never know what you're going to get. Anyway, this one is gorgeous. This is old. This one is deco. Um, this is sterling. 
This, I think I test, I have to retest. I think this is actually a stone, not glass. I will double check. Now, this came to me just as this. I had to find a chain for it. So, oh, it's so weird. So, the clasp is sterling. The pendant is sterling. The chain that I had to order from a place that sells findings for antique and vintage jewelry. So, you can kind of stick with the same look. I think this one is rhodium plated. Okay, so, so just to throw that out there, I will double check from what I remember. It's been a while. Anyway, um, is fantastic, gorgeous, look at that. But the main piece is sterling. And I will know if anyone's interested uh, if this is glass. I think this is actually stone, but I could be wrong, I can't remember. I will double test it, obviously. It is signed at the bottom. Really, really, just really beautiful, very feminine, romantic piece. Just fantastic. Anyway. Okay. Well, what else? I don't know. I'm just showing a lot. And I've got this beautiful bracelet. I didn't. I think this is glass. I will double check. I'm obviously not remembering. I didn't write my, oh, no, all my information for tomorrow. I have it all written down. But today, not so much. Don't know everything. Um, what size is this? I don't even know what size this is, but it's really pretty. And that's why I bought it. This is a newer piece that is, you know, obviously it's a newer piece to look like an old piece. It has the safety. You know, it is oval, so it'll fit a wrist nicer than a round because unless maybe you have a round wrist, but I don't. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Um, there will be more, obviously. Um, I'll show you this last piece. Okay, this was also mine. It's a Okay, it's gorgeous. This is um, orange chalcedony and sterling silver. This is an older piece towards the deco period. Am I zooming in? Whoopsie. It's just a really great bracelet. It's a little big on me. I did wear it because I stacked, so I didn't care. I collect these type of things. Um, obviously, you can tell. You just look like, like I just wear them all together. Who cares? I think they look great. Anyway, so that's the thing I do that I love. But there's times where you just have to say it's time to pass it on because I've got more. You know, um, what else? Um, 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 that's it. I don't know. Oh, I do have this. If someone is interested, that I'm taking this literally off my wrist. This is a vintage book chain bracelet. I wear them with a lot of my vintage antique bracelets. They look great. It's the same type of color, so I like it. This one's a little bit bigger than I like because I told you I like to wear my bracelets a little smaller. Um, I do wear it, but um, it's fantastic. Oh, it's signed. I don't even, can you read it because I don't have my loop. What does it say? I don't even know what it says on it. Okay, but anyway, uh, it is great. So if you like to stack like I do or just like this kind of look, um, it looks great with by itself or with other bracelets as well. Okay, and I will have silver, I will have sterling, I'll have that kind of stuff too. But for my little set today, we've got uh, these beauties. Anyway, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope to see everyone tomorrow, tomorrow, which will be Thursday, March 16th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, five, six, which is 8, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Am I correct? See, where I live, I don't do daylight savings, so I get very confused. So, yeah. Anyway, mwah. hugs and love, and I hope to see everyone tomorrow. Have a great, great, great Wednesday. Be safe out there. Bye.